Point of order. You out of order, Mr. Scott, and you your business is over. You don't need to talk to me. Okay. You had your chance to talk Councilman to me. Why are you walking up here on me? Get on Mays. back away Councilman from me. Councilman Mays. Of oh, what? Oh, what you know this is inappropriate. Oh, what? We get are taking a meeting. Get away from me. This is get away from me. You out of order. Get the hell away from me. Get the hell away from me. You, you want to crack me across my head? And I'm going to tell you what, I want this sent to the police. You ain't cracking me across my head. Well, you ain't going to threaten nobody in no public meeting because your man don't want to answer an easy question. I'm going to make a promise to you. You're not going to interrupt this meeting threatening no elected official with no physical violence. I don't care what kind of suit you wear. Councilman Mays. I don't Councilman care what Mays. kind of suit you Councilman wear. Councilman Mays, I'm order, asking you to calm down. And you're making your client look bad. So go on with that mess. Councilman We're in discussion on a motion. Now let me say that, Madam Chair, did you recognize me? I point did, of, Councilman Mays. Point of privilege. Point of, point of privilege, Madam Chair. There's a point of privilege. Would you Would please you quiet the privilege? citizen, please? Yeah, please. We can't even have a meeting. If He's anybody out of order else, as well. If anybody else disrupts this meeting, you will be removed under the disorderly conduct ordinance. It was that I, I, did, I, didn't, uh, I can't attest to what the department heads were doing. That's what I attest to. Can you attest to whether you and the mayor had any conversation about it? You said, can I? Yeah. Well, again, again, counsel, I, w I want to, I want to, I, I think that, I think that what you asked me and what your statement was is that you wanted me to come to, to clarify about what Benzik said. And no, that ain't, I didn't say why I wanted you to come. No. I said I wanted to subpoena you up here. We've done that. Now I'm asking questions, and this is a simple question. No. Did you have any knowledge that people had said they wasn't going to come because of the way they were talked to and treated? That's a simple yes or no, if I, you know. Counsel? Uh, counsel, I just I, I just answered the question. To, to what you, was your answer? That you need to talk to the department heads. We I did. I thought they were coming. Okay, so you don't watch these meetings on any live feed. You've mm -hmm. never watched a council meeting, uh, and I'm gonna remind I you have, that you I are have, no. I have I have come to the council meetings myself. Have you watched them? Is what I asked I on have, live feed. Have, have you ever watched one? Simple question, I, Mr. I, Gilchrist. I, Yeah. It has nothing to do with the position <laughs> yeah. as to what you do or do not do. You know, I've instructed my client not to answer that. Can question. you speak in the mic, Mr. Scott? Sure. Yeah. I've instructed my client. You can hear me without the mic. So I've instructed my but client. I want the public not to hear you. Answer that question. Okay, Mr. so. Mr. Mays. Mr. Let me finish. Ken Scott. Don't interrupt me when I'm talking. You do go that. ahead, go ahead, but I'm going to interrupt you because this is our hearing. It's not yours. So go ahead and don't tell me what to do. I'm going to tell you one Okay, time. well, you can get up and one walk time. and we'll go across the street. We can do that. Okay, whatever you want to do. Y'all, it's y'all politics. I ask a simple question. Go ahead and proceed, and then, and then we're going to see what you do. I will interrupt in order to keep this right. Madam Chair, when I'm asking questions, I'm going to do, he ain't going to run this. Go ahead, Mr. Scott. Madam Chairman, I don't allow nobody to disrespect me or my client. So once you can get him under control, we'll be back. Let's go. So you leaving? I want the record to show that Mr. Gilchrist is walking out. Now what I want to do is put a motion on the floor to subpoena the mayor or ask her to come up here at the next meeting. And I so move. There's a motion on the floor to subpoena the mayor for the next meeting. Is there a second? There's a motion on the floor, Ms. Fields. It's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Madam Chair, let me say this. That looked like something that was staged. And I'm here to tell you this. I'm no Madam Mr. Chair. Scott. Mr. Scott, you're out of order. You can move and leave. You said Madam you Chair. were gone. I'm asking you to do, but you ain't going to stand in the middle. Point of order. You out of order, Mr. Scott, and you, your business is over. You don't need to talk to me. Okay. You had your chance to talk Councilman to me. Why are you walking up here on me? Get on Mays. back away Councilman from me. Mays. Of what? Of what you doing? This is inappropriate. Oh, what? 
We Get are taking a meeting. Get away from me. This is Get it. away from me. You're out of order. Get the hell away from me. Get the hell away from me. You, you want to crack me across my head? And I'm going to tell you what. I want this sent to the police. You ain't cracking me across my head. Well, you ain't going to threaten nobody in no public meeting because your man don't want to answer an easy question. I'm going to make a promise to you. You're not going to interrupt this meeting threatening no elected official with no physical violence. I don't care what kind of suit you wear. Councilman Mays. I don't Councilman care what Mays. kind of suit you Councilman wear. Councilman Mays, you're way I'm out of order. You and you're making down. your client look bad. So go on with that mess. Councilman we in discussion on a motion. Now let me say that, Madam Chair, did you recognize me? I point did, of, Councilman Mays. Point of privilege. Point of, point of privilege, Madam Chair. There's a point of privilege. Would you Would please you quiet the citizen, please? Yeah, please. We can't even have a meeting. If He's anybody out of order else, as well. if anybody else disrupts this meeting, you will be removed under the disorderly conduct ordinance 31-10. Sir. So, Mr. Mays, we are yeah, under discussion. I hope my discussion. friend don't leave. Stick around, man. Let me say this. What I just experienced here today was a little outrageous. Them questions, some of them could have been yes or no. Easy, yes or no question. Have you ever watched us on live feed? Yes or no. The record will show that that to me is something staged. And why the mayor and her staff want to stage something in the middle of this political season, I don't know what they hide. We couldn't even get off first base. Couldn't get off first base. And every department head who comes up here, if that's the direction that the mayor is allowing this city to go, let's talk to the person where the buck stops at. Because if they got to come up here lawyered up, can't answer a yes or no question. Then going to walk in my face. We got a problem in this city. Now, I don't know what people think about me, but I ain't never physically threatened nobody in 20 or 30 years in politics in this council chambers. And it didn't happen two times in the last couple months by elected and appointed officials coming at Councilman Mays. And it's recorded each time. I don't have to come in these chambers feeling like Fred Tucker. Fred Tucker and his wife were found in Ohio dead. This is serious business. When I come in the people's chambers to take care of the people's business, spending millions of dollars, that's what the issue is. And if we have to rely on people like Mr. Gilchrist, the mayor, finance director, purchasing director, I've never seen nothing like it. I'm going to direct him not to answer a yes or no question. If you making $125,000 a year and you privy to stuff, you're going to answer my question. We just had a $6 million deal come to sell the Riverbank um, land. And that deal came from downstairs. And I bet you Mr. Gilchrist was privileged to it and then telling us, when we sell the property for six million, what we can and can't do with the money. Eva, that's the one you called for the question. I want to get to allowing us to do something with a six million dollar sale, like putting more police on the street. Six million dollars up here in council, and I know the motion, Ms. Galloway, is to whether we gonna subpoena the mayor. And I'm in favor of that, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because the buck stops with her. If you the CEO and you run in a city, it's time for us to know who calling the shots. If I'm the mayor, I'm going to tell Mr. Gilchrist, regardless of what Mr. Scott said, answer the simple questions. If they can't answer the simple questions, and they not getting direction to come and answer questions, we can't run the city from where I sit. I don't rubber stamp nothing. I vet stuff. Now, I know Attorney Scott, know him very well. Sit and play chess with him at his house. 
but it ain't gonna happen under my watch. And if that's what Mr. Gilchrist wanna do and make a farce out of this, then I'm gonna probably move, ask to remove him for cause. And Ms. Ms. Wheeler, if you think that every department head got to be lawyered up when they come up here, I don't need you as a city attorney as well. I'll be voting yes to bring the mayor up and see if we can get something straight up here.